guys, it's Megan. So today I'm going to talk about my March favorites and my recent purchases from this month. And I love doing these videos now that I have really open myself up to sharing different things, like not just beauty. I do have quite a bit of beauty this month, which is surprising, but I also have a lot of non-beauty stuff to talk about with you. Um, so this is just gonna be a mishmash of everything that I have purchased this month, as well as things that I've just really been loving. We have our owl friend outside who's like hooting away. So if you hear that, apparently we have an owl as our neighbor or something. <laughs> so, um, okay. Random thing. Last night we watched the Divergent second movie, Insurgent. Oh my god, I am so excited. My sister and I are going to see Allegiant today, which is the third movie. I think it's the finale, like the final movie of the series. These movies are amazing, you guys. I didn't read the books, the Divergent series, but the movies are so awesome. Like five billion times better than The Hunger Games. The topic is more interesting to me. It's still like a dystopian society, but these movies are amazing and I can't wait to read the books, but I, I'm really excited to see the movie today because I don't know how it will end. My sister read the books, so she knows how it will. But I'm just excited for like a surprise and stuff. So I haven't seen a movie in theaters for a long time that I've been this excited about. So just wanted to mention that because that movie's out right now and I can't wait to see it. Okay, so this month I really got into um, trying some different skincare things. So in like Black Friday, I had purchased the Colleen Rothschild like travel set. She sells a set of, I think it's like seven or eight of her best-selling products. And the ones that I've really been loving are her two moisturizers. And so I've cut this open. This is the Extreme Recovery Cream. I barely have any left. So I've been using the Extreme Recovery Cream at night and then the Sheer Renewal Cream during the day. My skin has been so dehydrated lately and then when I use certain foundations, my skin looks really oily and then I'm like, am I dry? Am I oily? Am I dehydrated? Um, I just don't know what my skin is up to lately. Like when I'm not wearing makeup, it looks really, really nice. But then when I wear makeup, I don't know if I'm wearing the wrong stuff, if I'm applying it wrong, I don't know. So I've just been having like kind of an issue with foundations lately and just not liking how my makeup wears throughout the day. But when I'm not wearing makeup and I'm just doing skincare, I have been loving these moisturizers. I was having a lot of dryness around my mouth area. And so I um, started to use this extreme recovery cream on that area and it like cleared that entire area up. I don't have any more dryness, like dry patches or anything. So I started using it all over my face. I'm obsessed with it. So I'm using um, both of these daily. And then Colleen had a spring sale with some really amazing prices on her products. So I did purchase the full size of the Extreme Recovery Cream. So in the sample, it comes in a tube, but the full size is, is in a jar. If you buy the Sheer Renewal Cream full size, it is also in a tube. So I thought that was kind of interesting, but um, I'm so excited to have this. And it was still pretty expensive, even though it was on sale, but it's just a really thick thick, thick, like amazingly moisturizing cream. So I think this will be amazing for whenever I have dry patches. It is getting more warm um, in terms of the weather here, but I know that I will definitely use this whenever I have dry skin and then definitely in the winter, the fall and winter. So I am really excited about that. And then I purchased two other products that are supposed to be good for dry skin. I got the Intense Hydrating Mask, which um, what pushed me over the edge to get this was I was going to buy these things and then I was watching Makeup by Tiffany D, her empties video, and she had used this whole tube up and said that this was one of her favorite products that it really just plumped your skin and was really effective. And on sale, this was, I think, $20 or less. So I wanted to try this out, and I only used it once, so I can't really say. But then the thing that I was probably, well, I was really excited about the Extreme Recovery Cream, but this I'm really excited about. This is the Vitamin C Treatment Complex. And apparently vitamin C is supposed to be really good if you have dehydrated skin. It's just a good, like, vitamin to 
put on your skin or ingest, I guess, if you take like vitamin C tablets or whatever. But I have been using this a few times a week uh, at night on my skin and I think it's really, really helped with the hydration level of it. So I'm really excited about this and this was on sale as well. All these things were on sale. But since I've not really been shopping a lot, it was it was a big decision for me to buy those things, but I'm glad that I did because the recovery cream and the vitamin C aren't on sale anymore. The um, mask is still on the half price, so if you guys want to try that, but I'm glad that I did try those other two out while they were on sale because I saved a lot of money that way. Another thing that I bought this month that I am obsessed with is this Boots Botanics hot cloth cleansing balm and I have been reading Carolyn Hirons a lot lately. You guys can see how much I've used of this. This cleansing balm is only $8. It's not huge, like the size is quite small. It's um, 65 milliliters, 2.1 fluid ounces but it's 97% um, organic and it feels like a high-end cleansing balm. I love the Colleen Rothschild cleansing balm. I think that it's so nice and so luxurious and she actually did send like a sample of that with my order which I thought was awesome because it's a very expensive product to buy that cleanser. But this is only $8. That one I think is like $65 which for a cleanser, I just think that's so ridiculous. Some things, like a moisturizer or serum, that's okay, but a cleanser, that's just too expensive. So, I have been using this and just loving it. It feels super, super nice and luxurious on my skin. I love this in the morning, uh, as well as a second cleanse at night. It's very hydrating for my dry, dehydrated, whatever kind of skin I have, and... I don't know, it's just really, really good for the price. It comes with a cleansing cloth as well, but I just use like whatever washcloth I have on the go right now. And I just really been loving it. I think it'll definitely be one of my go-tos, especially for the price. I'm really impressed with that. I wanted to mention this because I talked about these last year, but I haven't really mentioned them again. The YSL tint in oils. These are so good. I especially love the clear one. This is number three. It's just called Undress Me. And so it's it has the coolest applicator and it looks pink on the applicator, but it's just like a clear gloss basically. But it's like a really thin oil that is just super hydrating, very glossy. I keep this in my purse. I apply it at work all the time because it's a no fuss product but it makes your lips look really really nice and it hydrates them at the same time so this is something I really recommend I I just have enjoyed it ever since I purchased it and it's something that I have never found a product that does the same thing as this in one of my get ready with me's I think it was my get ready with me roulette I pulled out the Cover FX Moonlight Highlighter to use again, and ever since that, I have been obsessed. It's the highlight I'm wearing on my skin today, and it's so weird because it looks like a face powder, basically, but then when you put it on your skin, it gives, like, this gorgeous silver sheen. It's so unique and so interesting and mesmerizing and my favorite highlighting brush is the Sephora Pro Contour 79 just really fits nicely on the tops of my cheekbones for highlighter and I've just been really enjoying rediscovering this product because it's one that I really didn't use a lot after I got it from Natasha for Christmas and I've just loved these two together. This highlighting brush is awesome even though it's called a contour brush which it is a good contour brush but for highlight I really really love it. So these have been fun to use together and rediscover that. And I don't think that it's too harsh of a highlight for work. I wear it sometimes at work but a lot of times I'll use my MAC Light Scapade MSF, which I have in my Finish 24 by 4th of July, which definitely is another one of my favorites. I'll have my update of that next week. That project has been so fun, especially to see so many of you guys join in, whether you're doing 24 or if you're doing 14 or 4 or if you're doing a roulette or not. Just everyone that has jumped in and participated in it has been so 
special because it is ending on my birthday and a lot of you guys have mentioned that in your videos or in your posts and that just means so much to me like I didn't expect so many people to join in and it's just really really cool so I wanted to say thank you in this video and of course I'll thank you guys um, in my update but that's just been really fun to work on myself but also see you guys jump in so that's been really cool. So along with my foundation <sighs> whatever the heck is going on with my foundation. I've also been feeling really discouraged about my mascara. So the two the mascaras that I am using right now are the Stila Huge Extreme Lash and the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. I pretty much never have two mascaras, especially two high-end mascaras going at the same time, but I am just not getting the lashes that I want with either of these. So this is the Stila Huge Lash mascara and it's kind of like the brush on the Too Faced Better Than Sex but it's a wetter formula so it's not um as flaky I guess and I heard that this mascara is supposed to be way better than the Too Faced one if you like that one this will just blow your mind my mind is not blown it gives good lashes but it can easily get too clumped up because it is very wet and I've had this open for most of this month and it hasn't really dried out much. I don't want to like leave it open because it is more expensive. I don't know. So that I'm a little disappointed with. And then the Perversion Mascara, that's what I'm wearing today. This I like a little bit more. It has more of that standard like bushy brush that I really like. But again, it's very wet formula and I like more of a dry like it's okay if it's a little wet obviously because then it'll last longer like the tube will but these are just so wet and really get clumpy so I just feel really disappointed with these I want to go back to my L'Oreal Voluminous but I'm trying to work through my mascaras that I have purchased over the past few months because like you guys know last year like the last six months of the year I was buying stuff all the time and so I have I think I only have one more full-size mascara after these two, so I'm gonna keep trying these out, and they're not, like, so bad that I just hate the way my lashes look, but I'm just not really happy with these, which makes me sad because they are more of a high-end product, and I'm always comparing mascaras to my L'Oreal Voluminous, and if a high-end mascara can't beat that, I'm always disappointed because that one's only, like, five or eight dollars depending on where you buy it and these are like over twenty dollars so I don't know I've just been having some like makeup issues lately I guess like I'm not very happy with how my makeup is and then I was feeling like I looked so overdone with my eye makeup so I've been wearing a lot lighter makeup and I don't know you just get into those moods at least I get into those moods that I'm like I don't want to look like I'm wearing makeup I just want to look very fresh and natural and obviously I still like wearing makeup but I just get into moods I guess and I'm like Ugh, this is so disappointing like every day it's really it's really depressing um two eyeshadows that I have been using ever since I've been feeling like uh with my makeup are two of the Burberry glow shadows so these are their newer formula of their eyeshadows they have the wet and dry which I don't recommend but then these glow shadows are really nice they're highly metallic and just really pretty so this is shell and this is nude and they're just very refined beautiful eyeshadows I wish that Burberry never changed the formula shell and nude of their um, eyeshadows but if you want to try a Burberry eyeshadow definitely try out these glow shadows because they're very smooth they're just beautiful and you can wet them to make them really really metallic but they just look gorgeous dry I've never used them wet honestly but they're just super super pretty give a really nice shine to your lids but they're not like sparkly or anything so I've really been liking these just washing them over my lids for a little bit of a sheen um, but nothing too extreme so I've really been enjoying these and I haven't used those for quite some time so that was fun to rediscover those. 
Another thing I purchased from Ulta, I made like a little Ulta order earlier this month, um, is this L'Oreal Paris Feria um, hair color in Intense Deep Violet. And I've been really loving this type of purpley red dark brown hair and the last one that I used was the Vidal Sassoon in London Lilac or something and I really have been liking that but I saw that L'Oreal came out with new colors and this was one of them and I just thought it would be fun to try this eventually so I'll probably use this as one of my next hair dyes so I wanted to share this with you guys because this color is pretty hard to find in any hairline unless you get your hair professionally done. So um, if you guys like this hair color, I haven't used this one, but I think this will be a good option for us that like that hair color. And then also for hair, I just bought this the other night. We were at Walmart picking up some stuff for my sister and I will be needing a new shampoo soon. So I was looking at like the less expensive options because I love my Giovanni. Um, but this Suave Professionals Natural Black Raspberry and White Tea um, shampoo was only $2. It smells awesome. It smells so good like raspberries. And this is for color care, like color treated hair. And shampoo isn't like there, one isn't like so amazing compared to another. I really like more um, moisturizing shampoos or ones that are for color treated hair. So I'm going to give this a shot, but if this works just as well as my Giovanni, I'm definitely going to switch to this brand because it's $6 less than my Giovanni and I don't even think $8 for a shampoo is very like outrageous, but $2, <laughs> why not if it works just as well? Another product that I bought at Ulta that I have really been enjoying trying out are these Nip and Fab Glycolic Fix Daily Cleansing Pads. So in my last empties video, I asked you guys what um, makeup like toner exfoliating pads you really liked because I love my first aid beauty ones, but I don't want my skin to get used to them and stuff like that. So a lot of you guys recommended these Nip and Fab ones and I had actually been looking at these before that video. So that just kind of pushed me over the edge to try them. For 60 pads it's only $12. So that's a lot less expensive than the $30 for 60 pads for the um, First Aid Beauty ones. So I thought that was a really great bonus. Um, the one thing is that they're not very saturated. They look pretty much exactly the same as the First Aid Beauty, but they're a lot drier, and sometimes I feel like I need two pads to do my whole face. I haven't done that yet, um, but sometimes I feel like it would be better if I used two just because they don't seem very saturated. So I've been storing them upside down hoping that that will make them a little more wet um, with more solution, but it might just not have a lot of solution in here. So they also have a more extreme, it's called like glycolic extreme pads. So I might try those as well, but I've really been enjoying trying these out and I'm pretty impressed that they they seem to be doing the trick just like the first aid beauty ones and i love that they're less expensive so that has been really cool to try out those as well okay for blush i did my shot my stash for spring video and that really really inspired me and one of the blushes i pulled out is the becca flower child which is the cutest prettiest pink with a little bit of a gold sheen to it. So that is right there. It is so pretty. It's what I'm wearing on my cheeks today. And I've been using the Real Techniques Multitask Brush, which is just a really nice brush for any cheek products, but I've really been liking it for blush. And some days I just put this on the apples of my cheeks and use something else on the rest of my cheeks. But today I used it all over and I just think it looks so cute and pretty and really really fresh so I don't really like pink blush and if you don't really like pink blush either don't be afraid of this flower child blush because it's not like whoa that's like a pink blush it can be applied very sheerly and it's just really nice on the face so I've been really liking that as well 
As you can tell in my voice, I sound like a nasally mess. My allergies have been killing me this month. Like ever since the first day of spring, it was like, okay, allergy time. Like let's drive Megan crazy. So you guys know I have been using Claritin for a long time. And I think what happened is that I bought the generic brand of Claritin after using the Claritin brand for a long time and it just wasn't as effective. So I gave the Allegra um, a shot. It was on sale at Target for like eight bucks. Um, and it just does not work for me at all. I was miserable yesterday when I used this. It was terrible. So um, I think I'm just going to buy the Claritin brand because once I realized like, oh yeah, I did buy the drug like the name not the name brand the store brand of Claritin and I just put it in the Claritin container and so I wasn't really associating that I bought something different and that's probably why it wasn't working as well but I just need to stick with Claritin because this I was like do I need to get a prescription for something like um I just don't know what's going on and maybe it isn't working as well but I think it is that I bought the drugstore brand instead of the name brand so oh, I just hate allergies I never had allergies and now I understand why people are so miserable because of them like I didn't think that it could wear you out as much as it does but if you don't have allergies, you are so lucky. I wish I was like you. Okay, um, so I was talking to one of my coworkers and talking about like doing different exercises and stuff and he said that jump roping is a really great way to get a lot of exercise, but you don't really have to go anywhere. You can just do it in your backyard. So I went on Amazon and I bought this. It just came in um, yesterday. This is the King Athletic he who dares wins speed rope. You can cut the rope to be the right length. It comes in a nine foot four inches length, but you can cut it to the size that you need for your height. But there's so many different jump ropes on Amazon that I didn't know what to pick. I just knew I wanted to rope one. But what sold me on this one was the top review. And you guys have to go read it. It's so funny. It's like this guy is saying that you will find love and your life will be perfect if you buy this jump rope. So it's just, it killed me. And I was like, I have to, have to buy it. And I think it was less than $10. It, I'm just really excited about it. And I'm trying to get more active, but do things that are not so extreme. Like I've done Insanity in the past, which is amazing. The results of Insanity are awesome, but it's very hard to maintain such an intense workout for an extended period of time. So I want to find stuff that is fun to do, that I can sustain, like that I can do all the time, whether it's winter or spring or summer or whatever. So I'm trying to do more like indoor things, but of course you can jump rope outside or indoors or whatever. So I'm just really excited about that and I wanted to share that with you guys. And another thing this month was that I finally finished up all of my clay purifying masks. So I told myself once I did that, I would be able to buy these ingredients to make my own purifying mask, which are the Aztec clay and the apple cider vinegar. So this has been something I've wanted to try for a very long time. I've seen so many people do this mask. I've seen Mindy Kaling do it on her Instagram. And just so many people have talked about mixing apple cider vinegar with Aztec Aztec clay to make an awesome purifying mask. So I bought both of these on Amazon. In total, I think it was less than... $20 for sure, less than $20 for sure. I'm not sure what price it was, but I think it'll be really cool to do this and I can't wait to try it out. I just got this yesterday, like the jump rope, but I'm so psyched about it because you get so much product. You can make so many masks for like barely any money and every one will be fresh because you'll make it fresh. I'm just so excited. I think it'll be so much fun. Okay. A few last things. One, this is so like weird, but I had to mention it. So if you guys are over 21, I highly recommend the Stella Artois cider. So I used to only drink Angry Orchard cider, which I still think is really good. But um, 
this was probably like last fall I went to a cider and wine festival with some of my friends and this was one of the brands that was there like giving out samples and I loved it if you like champagne like the dryness of champagne you will really love this cider it's a lot to me it's a lot drier than the angry orchard but it's so refreshing I love hard cider it's it's my favorite thing to drink other than um what is it? It's ginger <laughs> ginger ale and Captain Morgan. I always want to say Jack and Ginger because I always used to drink Jack and Coke, but now I switch over to Captain Morgan and ginger ale. So it's hard for me to remember that. But this is like my go-to, like just if I need a drink after work or something, I will always get this. So I wanted to mention that. And these um, Victoria's Secret pink sleep shirts, they're just like long t-shirts basically this one's really cute it says I like you and naps <laughs> which is very true they're very very soft and they're so comfy like you I wear them just as like for sleep shirts but you can easily wear them like if you were taking your kids to school or something like if you wanted something still cute but not like obviously a sleep shirt these are really really nice and I always get a size up so I get a large in these because of the length of them they used to be a lot longer but I think now like short su stuff is sexy or whatever I don't want my butt hanging out when I'm trying to go to sleep so <laughs> I get the one size up I really love them I have them in a bunch of different like sayings and colors and stuff so I buy those whenever they are having a sale on them and I just really like them and then the last two things are like entertainment so pretty much all of March it took me all of March I think to listen to the undisclosed podcast and if you listen to Serial the podcast about Adnan Syed this is such a great follow-up to the Serial podcast it's not like by the same people or anything. It's by Rabia Chaudhry, who is Adnan's best friend's sister, and also the one that reached out to Sarah Koenig about his case and to do a story on it. Um, and then two other lawyers that have written about Serial in the past that they're all collaborating on this. They're so smart. I have learned so much about the legal system, like law in general and it's made me think a lot about justice and it's really really interesting so if you're into um like criminal justice or the like law or anything like if you're studying to be a lawyer I really recommend not only serial but definitely undisclosed it was really educational to me as someone that never has had an encounter with the law or like known anyone that was a lawyer it was just really really cool so I highly recommend that and then in March it was exciting but sad because so many of my favorite shows wrapped up for the season so Top Chef that finale came and I was I'm disappointed with who won. I really wanted the other person that was in the finale to win. I'm not going to give spoilers because maybe some people haven't watched it, but I really loved this season. It was all throughout California, but it was weird because the finale was in Nevada, so that was kind of random, but um, it was really, really cool to see all different parts of California, especially after going there last summer. It was it was just really interesting and I pretty much loved all of the chefs that were in this season and that's very rare rare like usually I hate people that are in it until basically the end my favorite was definitely Isaac he is just really cool and he was nominated for a James Beard Award so I hope that he gets that but I love the season of Top Chef and then how to get away with murder this like second half of the second season was amazing like I was so excited to watch every single week and me and one of my co-workers talked about it every Friday we would both watch it and then discuss everything it was so much fun to do that as well because I've never like known anyone in real life that watched it that I could talk about it with so that was really cool and I think that I like remember a lot more of it just because I talked about it every week so that oh my god the finale was amazing I'm just so impressed with that show that that is definitely one of the best shows on tv to me so how to get away with murder was 
awesome the second season. And PLL wrapped up for... I, did it wrap up for the season or is it mid-season? I'm not sure, but... PLL, you guys know, is my guilty pleasure. I watch it every time that it's on. Me and my sister and my mom will all watch it. And we're just like ranting the whole time. Like, these people are such idiots. Like, why do they do this to themselves? And it, it's just so much fun. And I love watching it every time. So I'm sad that we're going to have to wait however long until the next season or the next part of the season but it, I don't even remember what happened in the end to be honest that's how much like I pay attention but I don't really pay attention oh I do remember I do that was such a good ending I can't believe I forgot that was so cool and you guys who watch it I hope you remember just like I remembered because that was such a good twist I was like oh my god like that was so good. And then I've been catching up on Blind Spot, which is a show I really recommend. It had the first season last year, and now it's, well, I think it's a continuation of the first season. So it's amazing. It's a really, really interesting concept. It's like the FBI and like crime solving and like mystery solving but then it's also this conspiracy theory so if you love conspiracies you will love this show I like pretty much anything with conspiracies so that's probably why I love it but it's very interesting and it's on right now so all like pretty much all the shows I watch wrapped up so I don't know what to watch but I still haven't watched any of season four of House of Cards, which is very surprising because usually as soon as it goes live on Netflix, I like binge watch it all, but I haven't watched any of it. So that has been kind of weird, like very abnormal for me not to like dive headfirst into it. I've just been so busy with stuff. Like I'm like, ugh, so exhausted from all of life going on, but it's a good kind of exhausted, not anything really bad or anything, just just a lot like work, friends, family, just everything is happening all at once. So I, I am just so excited to have talked to you guys about this and I love doing these like wrap up videos of the month and it's not anything that I'm specifically like go out and buy all this stuff. It's just that I really been loving it and a lot of it is stuff that isn't that expensive or that I rediscovered in my collection. So that has been really, really cool. And you guys know I've been really trying to declutter and that has felt really, really good to me. And I'm still on that journey. I need to continue to declutter regularly, but it's definitely a good start for me to get on the, like get in the habit of doing it. And just being very mindful about what I purchased. All the stuff that I bought, even though it's more than I've bought in the past few months of 2016, it's things that I really thought about that I know that I'm going to use. And yeah, I just feel really good about where I am with my purchases and stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all had an awesome month of March. Please let me know what you have been loving this month, any TV shows or podcasts or drinks or beauty stuff. I would just love to hear it. And I just really appreciate you guys all hanging out with me. It's so special to have you here. So I will see you guys really soon. Bye!